Okay, blessings everyone. This is Yanni, the only locologist. This is our last client for our Georgia cycle. The next time. Jersey cycle. I'm sorry, you guys know I'm tired because you hear the crap I'm saying. We are in Jersey. You're not in Georgia. This is our last client for our Jersey cycle. We'll be back in Jersey in March, God willing. For the Georgia people who's trying to book, don't leave any messages or anything. I will post the dates. We will be in Georgia in January, God willing. All right, sorry guys, I'm really tired. <laughs> All right, so this client is here. Her name is Kaylin. In fact, I had to change her date because of the snowstorm. And she has a beautiful, step back so they can see how beautiful her hair is. Beautiful, healthy head of hair. And I want to talk about this, which I've done in several videos before. This is what build up, ah, let me turn it around, queen, from product looks like. All right, you guys, you can come a little closer so they can see it. Um, so your hair is literally a timeline. She had a beautiful young lady by the name of Nefertiti in Detroit. Yes. Shout out to Nefertiti in Detroit. You did an amazing job with her locks, but she moved to Jersey now. And nine months ago, around what's that? February. Yeah. That'd be no, actually that would be more 11 months ago. 11, yeah. Around that 10, 11 months ago, she went to get her hair done for an engagement party and the person put a lot of product. If you look at the end of her locks, Nefertiti, the person who did her hair, there's no product buildup. But this is what the nine or the ten months would look like. You guys see it, right? It is very. I'm just trying to flick it off so you guys can see what it looks like, right? It's all over her head. So this video is to say, like what I always say in videos, <laughs> when it comes to product, what and your locks, what we put in our hair stays in our hair. All right, it cannot be easily washed out. I don't even know if one of Jimmy's visits will get this out. All right, because not all the time, even though Jimmy does amazing washes, based on what is put in the hair and based on the client's texture, texture, I'm sorry, not all, me back a little bit, come up here. Right, not all products are easily taken out. All right, she said if it's something like waxy, that is one of the hardest things, like um, beeswax or um, there's certain waxy gels. Those substances are very hard to take out. And her hair looks like a texture that holds on to stuff. All right, be mindful what is being put into your hair. Please ask a question, okay? If it's for an engagement or some event and something is put into your hair to keep your styling or whatever, when you get home, I know you're thinking you want to save the money and keep your little style in your hair for a while. My best bet, when you get him, wash your hair out, okay? Use a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. Use even a little bit of lemon dish detergent. It's going to break down the acid in the dish detergent. It's going to break down the alkaline that's in some of these products. That's why it's they're so sticky, right? And so clammy, okay? You don't need a lot of it. Even um, Dawn blue dish detergent will break this down. So as soon as you get home, after your engagement or your wedding or whatever it is, take this thing out of your hair. It's been whatever February to now is. Look at it. And yeah, she has washed her hair between that time. Okay. It, this, is, this hasn't gone anywhere. Okay. So let's hope Jimmy is going to, Jimmy could, he makes something special for her hair. All right, hopefully it could come out and you guys will see how beautiful her hair looks afterwards. Be mindful of what you're putting in your locks, guys. All right, be blessed. Stay tuned for the next part of this video. Okay, I'm back in the middle of the wash. Jimmy um, just was washing her hair for almost 20 minutes for the bit of just the first wash. This is what, even after washing for 20 minutes, this is what the buildup looks like. That's not soap, you guys can see it. That is what build up looks like. All right, it is gluey. It's very pasty. Let me. Yeah, it's gluey. It's very pasty. You can squeeze it because my I'm holding the phone. All right, guys, be mindful of what's being put in your hair. You guys know I'm very repetitive, but I have to be so I can keep putting it to your heads, literally. Ask a question, and for the people who are doing their own hair, even you guys are your own worst enemy. You're putting a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in locks. Okay, just oil. Keep it simple. All right, she has a beautiful hairline, nice head of hair. You guys see it? That's the buildup. Get right there. He was washing her. He hasn't even finished. This wash will last almost 40 minutes, 45 minutes or more. One visit to. 
someone to do a hair for an event is what creates just one visit. So just imagine for the folks who are getting their hair done. Oh, you can see the re my reflection in this <laughs> in your arm, um, in your hose. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> it was me. <laughs> you see my reflection in your hose, the cap, mm -hmm. the hair part. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so I hope no one saw me picking my nose. Did, did they see that? <laughs> Girl, that's ignore me. I talk a lot of shit, <laughs> especially when I'm tired. I talk more. Shit. I'm so tired right now. All right, guys. Um, Jimmy's gonna do the rest of the, the many washes. You know that you remember that old carpenter song for the old people. We've only just begun. <laughs> you would know about that, see. That's before your time. You know, folks are like Yadi, how old are you really? <laughs> but we've only just begun. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so Jimmy, this wash took about an hour. Um, and it's just doing the last bit of rinsing out of the soap out of it. But as you guys can see, the buildup is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see like 95% of it. No, more like 90. Because of the product that was used, the products that was used in it here, it's, um, and she has a texture, as I said before, that things on to stuff. Some people texture. We've been doing this for so long. There's some clients who come with the worst buildup. And with one wash, it comes all out. And then there are some clients, it's because of their texture and what was used, it takes quite a few visits. There was a guy who I did years ago, that's when I used to wash here. It took me a year to get the build up out. There's a guy whose video I have to post from Georgia. Hey, Dre, I'm going to post your video. <laughs> and his name is Dre, of course. And it took us one year to take everything out of this year. That video hasn't even been posted yet. So though Jimmy and I are good at what we do, there are times where it's a real challenge to get products out of luck with some clients. And this is one of the clients. Okay, um, stay tuned for the end result. Okay, we are done. As I said before, this wash took about an hour. I was inside watching Netflix. And anyway, <laughs> um, she has extra Extremely healthy here. You can't even see the the scalp. Very disrespectful. That's the way I like it. Still has a little bit of build up, build up, build up. Sorry, build up in her hair. A little bit of lint. That's the least of our worries. Should she choose to come back, then the next visit we'll get all of it out. All right. Um. And let's. You mind if I turn you around? Right. See. It's beautiful. You could bend your head forward. So you can see. Nice. Thick, luscious hairline. She has a willow peak. <laughs> You're the third person who came on this cycle. I'm like, what is that? And one that had two women with it. The weirdest thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so let me go bless her crown. I was just telling her I would move faster. And those of you who are my clients in here and in Jersey and in Georgia knows that I move faster than it takes you me to do a wash. Which that's how the way you want it anyway. Everybody wants you me to take the longest to get their hair washed. So this should be done relatively soon, okay? Stay tuned for the end part of this. Okay guys, we are back, a crown. It's very thick delicious. <laughs> you guys know I love my words. Very thick delicious here she has, all right? I actually got that word from one of my favorite clients, uh, Nikel, hi Nikel. <laughs> she gave me that word, thick delicious. But anyway, her looks are thickalicious. It's disrespectful. This is what it looks like from the back. Let me see if it's showing in the camera. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Yep, it's nice. Um, see the amazing wash, Jimmy. The, the light is on this, so you guys can see how when she came her hair had like a dusty brown. I actually told us that was the green color over here. It was build up mixed with stuff. All right. And this is it from the side. Okay. Oh, hold on. I had to keep, because Jimmy's not here to monitor the camera for me. <laughs> My camera guy, he stepped out. I'm going to make sure everybody is seeing all the beautiful parts. All right. So, now we can move you to the front. You're excited to talk about <laughs> your experience with us. How was your experience? It was excellent. It was beyond expectation. Really? What yeah. did you expect? <laughs> I expect it was going to be good, but the concept of, like, even the discussion about, like, hair and, like, right. the concept of, like, your whole background with it. It just made right. it even more oh, thank you. beyond what I could have expected. How does your hair feel though? It, like, as she was saying, like, 
I was telling her like when she said it, it has been a long time since it's felt like this like soft and like authentic right. hair, not just like a straw. Uh, right. Hair. Because what happens, and you remember what you were explaining, one of the questions she asked me is why I don't believe in dryers, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, that's my dog who have no hope. She waits until I'm doing a video to bring out her bone. That's her bone. Sorry guys. <laughs> If you have a husky, you understand what it's like. They're very disrespectful. She is nothing like monkey. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, oh, and if you don't know, monkey was my first dog. All right, cool. So she was asking why I don't do dryers. And what I explained to her is that what dryers do, it dries your hair out. All right, to the new people that's now, that's now subscribing and now starting their luck journey. Okay, the reason why you don't want to go under a dryer, and thanks for bringing up that question. I'm so used to regular clients, I sometimes forget I have to go back. I'm like, what? Like, you should know that. And then I realized, no, you would not know that. So for the new people, why you don't want to use dryers, look at it this way. If you bake or cook, and dough, a, a oven and a, a hair dryer is two different things. What they have in common is heat. You put a, a, a what did I say, a potato. Yeah. Right. You put a potato in the, in the oven to bake it. When it come out, it's not the same size. Why? Because the heat shrinks it. It took all the moisture. Your hair is the same thing. Your hair is still part of your body. Your body has a lot of water. I think they say 75%, yeah, 75, 70, 75 percent water. Right. So by you sitting under that dryer and the hair professionals will tell you like, oh, wash your hair, put you under the dry so they can dry the styling or dry the moisture. Just use a normal towel. You do not want to go under that because what it does is going to dry out your lymph follicles, okay? Lean follicles so you can see your full hair line. Let me see if I see it. All right, good, right? So it also, when she came, she had like a lot of dry scalp, right? Because when even though she went under the dryer a long time ago, it still had a adverse reaction on her scalp. And that's why she was saying her locks has never felt, see how it's just moving? It, didn't, it hasn't felt like this in a long time. So avoid dryers. Avoid, um, what's the other thing? Um, products, right? You want to definitely avoid that. Oils is enough. Don't use a bunch of oil. Just pick one good oil. If you must use gel, I'm going to, one of my clients told me about it and I would have to ask her what's the name of the gel. There's something called a water-based gel. I, I don't use gels, so I guess some people need it to hold their hair in place. I'm not going back in my beliefs, but I would compromise if you need it. Go to Beauty Supply Store and ask them for something called a water-based gel. If I find the one that my client use, I will gladly post it for the people who, professionals who have fuzzy hair, like your hair is not fuzzy. It grows with your locks. Your hair don't grow like mine. Away, your new growth doesn't grow away from your locks like mine. Like what you see, all that bushiness right here. <laughs> I know, I know it's bad, right? I have an afro and locks. She look up at it like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I have an afro with locks. I know it's weird, right? Good. So if your hair grew like mine, you would definitely need, try to, if you want to really keep it neat, if you have a professional job, the water-based gel. All right, but you don't need that. Yeah. Your hair is perfect. All right, I, I'm impressed with your hair. No bad decisions from this moment on. Keep it. <laughs> I know. We had a long talk, didn't we? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I told you, I only do that one time for the, for the, for the first time clients. After that, we do not talk about this. <laughs> you come for your appointment, we're talking about other stuff. <laughs> it was a pleasure to see you. Let me turn you around one more time so we can see you here. Ah. Blue is on my foot. Look at this foolishness. I'm, look, she's on my foot. I hate this door. No, I'm joking, guys. I love her. She's literally on my foot. You guys see it? Lean back a little more. No, lean your head backward. Good, perfect. How beautiful her hair looks. All right. And the shine is back. Do not put products in your locks. It makes it very sticky, and anything that blows is going to stick to the lock. Okay. Oh, and before I go, um, a couple of things before I wrap this up. Um. This is my last client on this day. We are no longer taking any clients for Jersey until we are back in March. I will post the dates. That's if I'm taking new clients in March. And usually Jimmy is the one who will tell me to do it. I know. I told you that. <laughs> He's such a goody two shoes. I'm the one who like, no, no new clients. Jimmy's the one like, why do you want to take them? Right. <laughs> so please, when you call me, do not leave any text messages, emails or anything or voicemails. I am not taking any more clients. We are done. This is the last client for the day. We are done for this year until March for New Jersey. 
Georgia clients, same thing. No text messages, no emails, no voicemails. I will post the dates. And these are all for new people. Regulars, you guys know what to do. If you are calling me, I will post the dates on when I'm taking clients with Georgia in January, God willing. Which is next month. Shit. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I just realized time has flew fast. <laughs> I know, right? God, I can't believe the year is done. I hope you have a good 2021. Sis, keep up the good work, and I love your hair. All right. <laughs>